Hello and welcome to iQuanta. Today I'll be discussing all the geometry questions from slot 2 of CAT 2021. There were three questions of geometry out of which two were from quadrilaterals and one was from triangles. Let us go to the first question. It says, if a rhombus has area 12 square centimeter and side length 5 centimeter, then the length in centimeter of its longer diagonal is all right. So uh, if I draw a rhombus and assume its diagonals to be 2A and 2B, then I can write this as A and these two as B each because the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at 90 degrees. The side is known as 5. Now we can apply Pythagoras theorem in this triangle and according to it, I'll be getting A square plus B square is equal to square of 5 is 25. By using this equation, we can come on to different conclusions. For example, I can write A plus B whole square minus 2AB is equal to 25. I can also write, I can also write A minus B whole square plus 2AB is equal to 25. Hope this is clear. This basic algebraic identity. Now we need, no, we want to have the value of either A plus B or AB, which we can find out by using the formula for area of rhombus. Now the area of rhombus is given by half into product of its diagonals, which is 2A and 2B in our case. This is equal to 12 as it is given in the equation. So if we solve this, we'll get AB as 6. Now we can replace the value of AB as 6 in these two equations and let's see what do we get. But before that, let us mark these equations as 1 and 2. So now, if I put the value of AB in equation 1, what do I get? I'll get A plus B whole square is equal to 25 plus 2 times AB. That means 25 plus 2 times 6 or we can say 25 plus 12, that is 37 which can be rewritten as a plus b would be equal to square root of 37. Positive square root of 37. Why positive? Because we know this is a diagonal, um, this is a diagonal of a rhombus. It can never be negative. So we'll take the positive square root. We have the value of a plus b. Similarly, if we put the value in equation 2, the value of a b in equation 2, what do we get then? So in equation 2, if we put the value, we'll get a minus b whole square is equal to 25 minus 2 times AB. It's 25 minus 12 or we can say 13. Solving it further, we'll get A minus B is equal to root 13. Now we have two equations, A plus B and A minus B. On solving this, we'll be able to obtain the value of A and also the value of B and which, which whichever is larger, we'll just mark that in the option. All right. <clears throat> So a plus b is root 37 and a minus b is root 13. Let us write that. a plus b is equal to root 37 and a minus b is equal to root 13. Now if I add these equations, what do I get? I'll get 2a is equal to root 37 plus root 13 or we let d and e be points on sides ab and ac respectively of a triangle abc such that AD is to BD is 2 is to 1. So as we, as we read the question, we should start making the diagrams so that we don't have to waste time reading it again and again. This is a triangle. Let this be A, B and C. <clears throat> the question says, D and E are points on AB and AC respectively. It's also an AD is to BD is 2 is to 1. So if I mark D as here, then AD is to BD is 2 is to 1. Let us let us assume that this is uh, 2A, this AD is 2A and BD is A. All right. And we have to pick a point on E, point E on AC in such a way that A is to C is 2 is to 3. Let this be the point. So this is, if this is E, I can say A is 2B while CE is 3B. All right. So now we have these values which will be very important for us to solve this question. <clears throat> it's also said that the area of the triangle ADE, triangle ADE is, is 8 square centimeter. I'll just join DE. So this triangle ADE, the area is 8 square centimeter to find the area of triangle ABC. All right. So in the triangle ADE and triangle ABC, angle A is common in both the cases. Now we can 
use we can use the angle a to find the area of the triangles how we can do that half multiplied by sides multiplied by sine of a so for triangle ade we can say the area will be equal to half times 2a multiplied by 2b multiplied by sine a this is equal to 8 as it is given in the question now if we solve this what do we get 2 and 2 get cancelled <coughs> i'll be i'll be getting 2 times ab sin a is equal to 8 or we can also say ab sin a is equal to 4 let this be an important equation which will be helpful for us in the later stages coming to triangle abc for triangle abc following the same formula we can say we can say the area is half times ab entire ab that is 2a plus a that is 3a multiplied by entire ac that is 5b multiplied by sine of angle a this is as simple as it as it looks sine a is common in both the equations and that will be very easy for us so if we solve this we'll get 15 times ab whole upon 2 multiplied by sine a and from this we can assume the value of ab sine a to be equal to 4 let's put it there so we'll get 15 upon 2 and ab sine a is 4 let us put 4 over there if we solve this we'll get 30 square units so 30 square units uh, the units you use over here is centimeter so i'll just write 30 square centimeter is the answer this is a theta question and we don't have the options but the answer is 30. this question i would rate as more rate again and to solve this will take not more than 45 seconds just that we have to know this formula where angle is given <coughs> and uh, we can use the sign of it to find the area of a triangle hope you enjoyed this solution let's go on to the next question the next question says the sides a b and c d of a trapezium a b c d are parallel it's a trapezium all right with a b being the smaller side as i said we should start making the diagram the moment we <coughs> start reading the question so a b and c d a b is the smaller side p is the midpoint of cd all right let this be p and a b p d is a parallelogram wow so this a p b d is a parallelogram which means that a b and p d have to be equal moreover c p and p d is also equal so we can say c p is equal to p d is equal to a b as p is the midpoint of cd all right <clears throat> then if the difference between the areas of the parallel ran APD and the triangle BPC, triangle BPC. <coughs> the question goes like this. The two... The question goes like this. The sides AB and CD of a trapezium ABCD are parallel with AB being the smaller side. All right. So let us uh, draw the trapezium first of all. A, B, C, D. AB is the smaller side. <coughs> P is the midpoint of CD. Okay, let this be P. It's the midpoint. And ABPD is a parallelogram. ABPD is a parallelogram. So we can just join P and B like this, and we'll be getting ABPD. It's a parallelogram. That means AB and PD would be equal. If the difference between the areas of the parallelogram ABPD and the triangle BPC is 10 square centimeters, then the area in square centimeter of trapezium ABCD is what? This question is actually very beautiful. It depends on imagination and visualization. There is no need of applying any kind of formula over here. There's one thing which we have to keep in mind. <clears throat> the thing is, if we look at this triangle BPC, BPC and this um, parallelogram ABPD, so we can we can actually notice that the base of both the both the figures is same. 
base is same and so is the height all right so parallelogram is nothing but a combination of two triangles like this so i can say i can say now look at this the height is common we have now now we have three triangles this this and this in all these triangles the base is same and so is the height this is the height here this is the height here and this is the height here height is same base is same area has to be same so <clears throat> so if i if i look at this there are three different triangles so if i assume the area of this triangle apd i'll just change the ink this is if the area is a this also area will be a this also will be a from the question it is known difference between areas of parallelogram which will be a plus a 2a in our case difference between the parallelogram and the triangle is 10 then the area in square centimeter of trapezium will be what so here we can get a is equal to 10 and the area of trapezium a b c d which is essentially sum of three triangles that is a plus a plus a or we can say 3a let's put the value of a over here and we'll get 30 as the answer such a beautiful representation just by imagination visualizing we can solve this question hope you enjoyed this solution we'll come up with more such solutions in our later classes thank you